Bodybuilding has transformed every part of my body. And some people would say they prefer the way I looked before. I used to get a lot of attention when I was a peony model. Carida, sit up! Bodybuilding challenges people's perceptions of beauty. You get looked at like you're a circus freak. <laughs> it's really freaking annoying. Tomorrow is my first ever professional bodybuilding competition. It's the culmination of seven years of hard work. It's not like the, the amateur league, it's, it's the big dogs. Hi, <laughs> come on in. Welcome to my pad, or my crib, right? What is going to be going on tomorrow? Uh, it's the Tampa Pro. It's the Wings of Strength Yamamoto Tampa Pro. Curling iron, flat iron. It's a lot of stuff you gotta pack. Hi, uh, my name is Caridad Sola. I am from Miami. I'm a professional bodybuilder and an architect. I highly recommend to all the girls to get the scrunch butt. This is a scrunch butt. It makes your booty look amazing. Last year I qualified to become pro at the Olympia Amateur in Las Vegas. Carida, sit down! Time to go pump some bottles. <laughs> I won my class and then I got second in the overall. So close, so close. So now I'm a pro and I'm doing my pro debut. So I was probably about 18 years old. I was looking at a fitness magazine and there was this one trainer at the university gym that said, oh, you can never look like that. And I literally believed him. So I, for the next decade, I thought I could never look like that. I went to the gym like, an, like a normal human being and just, you know, just did the basic cardio and like some lifting. And then all it took was just two people at the gym and my boyfriend at the time to believe in me that I was like, maybe I can do this. So I started training uh, for a competition in 2013. I hired a coach and he prepped me for my first uh, competition. And ever since then, I just kept on uh, competing. I did bikini for a few seasons. I used to get a lot of attention when I was a peony model. Then I moved up into figure, which is the next more muscular class up. I noticed that I was a little bit too wide for that. My waist, let's say. I don't have that perfect V taper, so I moved into women's physique. Uh, and then ever since then, I've been staying in women's physique. Bodybuilding has transformed every part of my body. There you go, look at me, just your face. There you go. Not everyone feels comfortable seeing a woman as strong as I am. The majority of women don't train like me. The majority of women don't want to look like me either. Bodybuilding challenges people's perceptions of beauty. And a lot of people are actually repulsed by it. A lot of men don't like it, and a lot of women don't like it. You get looked at like you're a circus freak. <laughs> Anywhere you go, people stare at you and in a very rude way. People are just jerks. Some people don't get it. And you just gotta deal with it. <laughs> I trained for years to get my pro card, and it's finally time to step on stage with the best of the best. My goal is to look better than I did last time, and the only part I get nervous is because I don't know if I do yet, so I don't want to disappoint myself. Typical bodybuilder staples, egg whites, gallons of water, uh, meat, chicken, some champagne, so we can celebrate after. Hold on, I think it's my coach. Be there in 15, okay, cool. Like that's better, because your shoulders before, this photo that you sent me, they were oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Try to bring your hips just back a little bit. Okay. So you can show this part right here. When I met her, she... She... <laughs> Say it. She I was, fat. I was She was fat. fat. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, and I squeeze them there. She never want to show, but she met me. We went to the first show, the Olympia. Uh, she won the show, she won the overall, uh, she won the her class, she got second place in the overall, and she became, a, she became a pro athlete. So the thing that worries me the most, it's funny, it's actually my glutes. Um, I want them to be as peeled as possible. No fat on them, and even if you can pinch a little bit, that, that little bit, will, you'll lose placings. How you feel? Good, no, I feel good. Peel? I'm excited, I mean, I feel nervous. <laughs> Excited, a little scared, but I know that, whatever, I'm not scared. We're not scared, we got this, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I stalked all the competitors on Instagram, and I know I'm not supposed to do that. I was like, why did I do this? I would say seven, I'm worried about. They look phenomenal. A lot of these girls have been doing it for years. They're like seasoned pros, and we're like the new kids on the block. I'll be really happy if I crack the top 10. There's 23 girls in my class. It's gonna be tough to, to make top 10, um, but I would be really, really happy if I did. It's a hard com competition. It's not like the, the amateur league. It's, it's the big dogs. So I'm a little nervous about it. So now it's time to get a spray tan on and check in, get a number, get a little goodie bag, see all the other athletes, which is always exciting. On our way to finals. So excited. 
then go straight to get my makeup done. That'll probably take like 45 minutes. So it's a two minute routine. You wanna be as graceful as possible. You want it to look natural, even though it isn't natural. So I ended up getting top callouts, which is exactly what I wanted. Then I was like, okay, if I make top 10, that'll be amazing. Because I know that all 23 girls are gonna look great. Like it's the pro stage. I ended up getting eighth and I was super ecstatic with that. But I was actually just one point shy of seventh. The difference between eighth and seventh was literally one point. It was so close. I look and feel great, and I want to show that to the world at age 40. Today I'm going to do a photo shoot to capture all the hard work I've been putting in. In every shoot, you kind of want to go for a certain vibe. I want it to be sexy, but not raunchy and or hoochie-ish. In my young 20s, I had like such a beautiful baby face. I used to be the stereotypical pretty girl. So now hopefully the, the beauty is from within. <laughs> So my next goal is to compete in four weeks and place better than I did last time. Dude. Oh shit, that's awesome! You gotta do it because you love it. If you don't love the training, you don't love the process, the struggle, uh, then it's not worth it. Bodybuilding has definitely changed me. And some people would say they prefer the way I looked before. I honestly don't care what they think because I'm doing this for myself and no one else.